Does a mid-sized family sedan really need a six-cylinder engine for top performance? The makers of this car say no, and they're ready to prove it. Hi, I'm Amanda Salas. And I'm John Iliquasto, here to bring you Auto Trader's new car review of the 2011 Hyundai Sonata, 2.0-liter turbo and 2.4-liter non-turbo. Okay, so for those of us who don't know, what's turbo all about? Well, the technology is really pretty simple. Engines run on fuel mixed with lots of air. Hyundai's twin scroll turbos use exhaust pressure to spin the turbo's blades. That will force more air into each cylinder before it fires, delivering more power, especially when the engine revs high. Doesn't that mean less gas mileage? Well, it depends on how you drive. The turbocharger only kicks in when it's necessary for more power, say climbing a hill or passing someone or merging onto faster traffic. Otherwise, the turbo is going to be dormant and gas mileage won't be affected. The new Sonata is a 2.0T, which is exactly how it sounds. A 2-liter, 4-cylinder, T is in turbo engine that delivers 274 horsepower. And by comparison, Honda's Accord only gets 271 horsepower and Toyota's Camry only 268 horsepower, both less than our turbocharged Sonata test car right here. The turbocharged Sonata gets 22 miles per gallon in the city and 33 on the highway, while the non-turbo gets 22 and 35, only 2 miles per gallon more on the highway. There's a lot of room in here. Yeah, all Sonatas have enough space for four good sized adults, but the seat belts for five passengers. Also, the Sonata has a lot of cool elements too, like keyless entry, Bluetooth connectivity, and an iPod jack right here. In fact, aside from a few plastic panels in the interior, you'd think you're in a lot more expensive car. Speaking of cost, how much? We'll get to that in a minute. First, let's go for a ride. Paddle shifters are fun, but this six-speed automatic is quick and smooth all on its own. The steering is a little on the light side, getting heavier when you turn. Not a lot of road feel, but since the Sonata is an all-wheel drive, it pushes wide in the turns. Yeah, but it's nothing that the electronic stability control that comes standard in the Sonata shouldn't be able to handle. All Sonatas get a full five-star safety rating in government crash tests. And the brakes are excellent. Yeah. Now, can I know about the price? Absolutely. The 2.0 SE Turbo starts off at $24,345, and the very nice limited trim starts off at $27,245. That price is about equal to the least expensive Camry and Accord V6s. All great cars, but for someone who likes performance... Like you. Like me, the 2.0-liter Turbo earns a spot on my shortlist. I'm Amanda Salas. And I'm Johnny LaQuasto. Thanks for joining us for Auto Trader's 2011 new car review of the Hyundai Sonata. Right here on Auto Trader, the ultimate automotive marketplace.